Now second application. <clears throat> Field due to uniformly charged infinite plane C. Suppose as shown in this figure, we have uniformly charged infinite plane C having surface charge density that is sigma. Surface charge density means charge per unit area. Now to calculate the electric field at any point on either side of this particular surface. Here, let's consider the rectangular parallelopied Gaussian surface. Here, on right hand side and on left hand side of this particular charged infinite plane seat, if we consider two points which are situated at the same distance from the seat, then from the symmetry we can understand this thing, the field intensity will be same one at both the points. Now, if we consider this cross-sectional surface on right hand side and this particular cross-sectional surface on left hand side. Suppose its area is A. So electric field of this particular charged seat will be perpendicular to these cross-sectional surfaces. But it will be parallel to the sides of this parallel pipe. And therefore, flux passing through these sides of the parallelopiped Gaussian surface that will be equal to zero. Now, if we calculate the flux passing through this left hand side and right hand side cross sectional surfaces, then we can write 5L that is equal to A dash dot A dash, but magnitude of electric field that is suppose E, area that is A, so we can write E, A, cos theta, but here area vector and field both are in the same direction, so theta is taken zero, so E into A. Similarly, the flux passing through this right side cross-sectional surface phi R that is E dot A, so we can write that is also E A cos zero, that is E A. It implies that here the total flux associated with this rectangular parallelopiped Gaussian surface, that is phi equal to flux associated with this left cross-sectional phase E A. For this right side, cross-sectional phase EA and for the sides of this parallelopipe rectangular Gaussian surface that is zero. So simply we can write phi that is EA plus EA that is 2EA. And as per Gauss's theorem that is equal to Q upon epsilon zero where Q that is net charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface. So here charge per unit area is sigma, so charge on area A that is how much? So that is sigma into A. So we can write 2 E A that is equal to, now Q is replaced by sigma into A upon epsilon 0, A A cancelled. So electric field that is sigma upon 2 epsilon 0 and here you can observe this thing at any point the electric field is constant. In vector form we can write electric field that is sigma upon 2 epsilon 0 n caret where n caret is the unit vector in the direction of electric field. Clear to all of you?